you know, normally we don't pay much attention to short term performance, but given that trade war has been an important driver of market returns and volatility so far, uh, you know, we have been paying attention. Our portfolio did outperform uh, in the first quarter of the year. Uh, but in May, when the trade rhetoric worsened, when negotiations stalled, the portfolio started to underperform. But thankfully, in June and July, we're able to recover from this underperformance. Now, you know, our portfolio is skewed more towards the uh, the value of the cyclical stocks right now. Uh, and we believe these are undervalued as opposed to the, the low volatility uh, quality compounder stocks, which we believe are overvalued. And our process drives us to own more of these. Um, and, you know, what's interesting is that as the trade war rhetoric worsens, uh, people don't want to own any of these value stocks uh, and they only want to own these uh, these uh, quality compounder stocks where they believe nothing bad will happen. And the prices of these value stocks reflect that nothing good will happen. So when this rhetoric worsens, we found that this valuation gap diverges. And when the rhetoric improves, we've seen this valuation gap closes. So our portfolio is skewed, as I was mentioning, towards these stocks more. Um, and we believe that this divergence, this valuation gap, which is at historic levels, is simply unsustainable. And therefore, I think going over time, uh, our portfolio is well positioned to do well, uh, to do well and to outperform uh, going well into the future. So in May, we trimmed our holdings of Galaxy Entertainment Group. Uh, they're an operator of hotels and casinos in Macau. Uh, and at the time, the stock price was around 54 Hong Kong dollars. And this was when trade negotiations had just stalled. So we felt that at that price, the risk reward skew was perhaps uncertain and potentially not even in our favor. And hence, we decided to trim some of our holdings there. Now, uh, to explain the rationale there, you know, as, as the trade war becomes worse, uh, as economic uncertainty worsens, uh, we, we, we're worried that the Chinese consumer might dial back their spending on travel and entertainment. And obviously, Galaxy being a destination, we felt that tourist arrivals to Galaxy's properties may fall. So as I was mentioning, we sold some there. And then we were able to redeploy that cash into Infineon Technologies, one of our other smaller holdings, when that stock dropped from 20 euros to 14 euros in the span of just over a month. And it dropped primarily on the fear of economic uncertainty due to the trade war, but then also because it announced a major acquisition. Now, at 14 euros, we felt that the risk reward was completely favorable, was in our uh, direction. Um, and then that a negative outcome of the trade war was already priced into this. Now, we like the company, we like the management. We felt that the long-term thesis is solid, it's intact. And so we decided to buy some there. So this is an example of how we switched from Galaxy into Infineon. And we do a number of these switches over time in the portfolio. And what we feel is this improves the risk reward skew within the portfolio and improves it improves its positioning relative to the market.